Hey guys, welcome to Advancing Security, your source for security guard pro tips. Today's training is security guard career 20K to 50K. Let's get started. Understanding the job, most security guard jobs are entry level just like any other field. The harder the job, complexity, discomfort, responsibility, level of skills, and danger, possible harm will translate to higher income as few people want those jobs or are even qualified for them. Example, a night shift guard working on weekends will most of the time make more than a morning shift weekday employee. Think about that, guys. A weeknight employee tends to make about a dollar or two more. So if that's how you want to bump up your raise, that's how you want to make more money, go for it. Use that route. Hello, I'm Jay Gutierrez. I love being a security guard. As a kid, I always wanted to be a cop, but life had other plans for me. I got into security after a criminal justice club meeting at BMCC, Borough Manhattan Community College, in which an NYPD officer told our class trial being a guard. Do long hours in different posts for a year. If you can take it, you might be, have what it takes to be a cop. That's pretty much what they said. Guys, the slide is not going to automatically uh, say what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing a little bit so I can speed along this, right? I also have some typos, so second draft. My first two years was rough as a security guard. I was only making the minimum, and I had to ask more successful guards on how to do more and get more. And now I'm passing it on to you guys. Tip. By studying my bad posts and other trades, I understood the job and which choices benefited me and my family. This also led to me having better, meaningful work. You want to find work that means something to you. You know, paycheck is good and all, but you want to make sure you're, feeling, you're also making a difference. This slide here is a picture of me and a coworker where we were working at a school. We were given a plaque with the little kids' fingerprints on it. They were just pretty much saying, thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for doing your service. I really means a lot to me. That was meaningful work for me. I stayed in that job for about two years and some change. And then 2020 happened. And I still got that, that little plaque to this day. Observation, communication, and education is paramount for a successful, stable officer career. Pro tip, understanding yourself will allow you to make better choices on which contracts to sign and which company to work with. There are many companies willing to pay top dollars for real guards. Real guards, what is that? That's pretty much people that treat their jobs like if they're law enforcement or military with real true professionalism. There's only so many of us out there. And because of that, there's a lot more opportunities for people like us that are willing to do the correct work, that are willing to be successful and give the client what they need and what they deserve. 2X your guard income. This is pretty much for you guards out there making about 25 and you want to go into 50 as soon as possible. Many guards are not educated on how to advance, which means they will be stuck at a low wage longer than other people or fields. You know, if you're if you go to school to be a teacher, that's four years, right? Then you have to do an internship. Then you got to write a paper. Then you start off probably as a TA in certain places as teacher assistant. Then you bump up into being a teacher and then a master, depending on the state and the requirements. That field has its steps. When it comes to security, we don't have those kind of steps. Security is like the Wild West. You could go anywhere with it. Know your state requirements. Invest and organize your training. Study what skills will allow you to gain more opportunities as a guard. If it's a fire guard license, if it's a firearms, whatever it is, get what you need to get the best job that you want. Do more, earn more. More skills will increase your security guard product. You're offering a product, guys. That product is safety. We are like the dumb police. We're there to stop dumb people from doing dumb things. And maybe just regular people that are not educated and are very ignorant and don't understand the rules. Understand when you're getting a job, understand this 3% inflation. Every year, the government increases inflation by 3% in order to stimulate the market. Gas can go up by 3%, food can go up by 3%, real estate, things like that. So you want to make sure you're having a job, you're signing a contract that at least meets this minimum requirements. There have been jobs I've had that didn't. So on interviews, when I read the contract, I'm saying, hey, this is not for me. Thank you for the opportunity. Deuce. Common sense does not exist. There is no baseline on knowledge or awareness. Pro tip secret. The average college student gets in $30,000 debt for a 50K job, which is not guaranteed after you graduate, guys. Meanwhile, guards in less than five years can make that and not owe that much money. The national wage index for 2019 is 54000 it's just 54,000. I used 2019 because 2020 really messed up a lot of things. It's not a good representative of the situation. What I'm trying to say with this slide right here is that 50K is doable in most jobs. So if you're stuck in 25, 30K, 
you need to figure out how to go to 40k 50k and it's just by following steps create your own journey create your own plans pro knowledge according to statistics the divorce rate for law enforcement and first responder is around 75 percent this is an article i pulled up from nbcrightnow.com it, was, it came out february 6 2020 so you want to check that out same thing goes for the national uh, wage index uh, ssa.gov so check out those sources so you get more information in detail how to organize your guard career for faster growth which guard positions pay more go online do some research indeed monster labor statistics and get an idea by doing this you will see what the requirements are and then you can start planning your routine out like it's like a workout routine guys you really want to buff up or you want to slim down you have to set up a plan you have to create a mindset positivity and then move forward with faith research your dream post see what requirements companies want and make that your goal licenses experience whatever it is guys do what it takes to get that next good job you're looking for now this slide is super important people need to think outside of the box when it comes to security so that you can create your own path to success pick up outside skills take a criminal psychology writing or speech class at your local college take time writing your resume and cover letter when it comes to your resume and cover letter you want to make that as short as readable as possible and when it comes to your cover letter you want to make sure you're writing two or three sentences with a main objective your main idea of why you're hireable why you're a professional why do you do this job so that once the right person reads it you start that relationship with the best foot forward this doesn't guarantee you're going to get that employment, but it raises your opportunities. It raises the percentage of you getting that job you want and desire. Ask more successful people in your field for insight. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If you come from a good place, these people will coach you. Every post I've met always has two or three successful people. And those are the ones that I normally used to ask for coaching advice and still, and still to this day. If you can get a mentor. The more they coach you, the more you're going to have a bond and a relationship with them. And then they'll take you under their wing and they'll help you out. Nine times out of 10, this has proven to be true for me. And I think it could help you guys as well. The last one here on the bullet point for this slide is change employer every nine months to two years for a competitive salary. Don't stay stagnant. Every time you go from one post to another post, after you master it, you are taking those trade secrets. You're taking those knowledge from those positions and you're adding it to your skills that you can transfer over to other jobs. That makes you more hireable. That makes your product of safety more valuable. Pro tip, there are programs which will help you pay for college courses or certifications. There are programs in New York like Workforce One. You have financial aid and programs like that. There are also online free FEMA courses for emergency management. I actually have about 15 college credits with FEMA emergency management and it just makes it look good on your resume. I got my certifications and it was free. To transfer into college courses, you gotta pay something, just keep that in mind. Forbes 2014, employees who stay in companies longer than two years get 50% less. Pro tip, guards get too stuck on loyalty, which comes from sub-police military-like culture we have. Do what's best for your family, health, and freedom. It's okay and good to look for something better every so often. Don't stay trapped everyone is replaceable. I started off security. I think my first job was making a 850. Um, that was before they automatically raised the income in New York. And then I had another jump, another job making 11. Eventually I went to 15 then 17, then 20 then 22. Right now I'm 25. If I can do it, you can do it. Just stay professional, stay proficient, pick up new skills for your trade. Last slide. 50K is an obtainable wage as this is the average salary in the U.S. 50K is an obtainable wage as this is the average salary in the U.S. Commit to a career and life plan. If you've never done something like this before, join a club you like. Man, it could be piano. It could be, you know, uh, joining a swimming club. It could be going to the gym, MMA, whatever kind of club you want to join, join it. And commit to it for 90 days so you can build committing skills and planning skills. As you're doing that, study your progress. Within 90 days, your progress is going to go up so that you keep being emotional, you keep you know, being invested. Then follow those same steps in order to raise your value and income. 50K and more is doable. Guys, that means if you know you got to get your CPR license through the Red Cross, you got to get a firearm license, fire guard, fire life safety director, whatever it is. Do it. You can do it. Move forward plan and have faith that's it that's that guys if you found value in this video like subscribe and leave a comment with a related question